After Jesus appeared to the men on the road to Emmaus, he showed himself to all the disciples who gathered together in Jerusalem. But this time was different. In ancient cultures, people did not have the skepticisms we moderns pride ourselves on. They accepted dreams and visions as part of ordinary spiritual experience. The disciples also had advanced notice of the resurrection. People had seen the risen Jesus, for even these two factors could not prepare them for his present appearance. They reacted with fear. Like John chapter 20, he gave them peace and invited them to inspect the wounds in his hands and his feet. But then he did something unusual. He ate a piece of cooked fish before them. This reflected his appearance in John chapter 21 when he cooked breakfast for Peter and his companions while they were out fishing in the boat on the lake. If we combine this scene in Luke with the previous one from the road to Emmaus, we can envision a meal of bread and fish. Such a supper reminded the disciples of the multiplication of the loaves and the fishes, the only miracle recorded in all four Gospels. But Luke made a deeper point than that of the physical presence of Jesus. The reality of the risen Lord presented a shift in spirituality. No longer was it necessary for someone to transcend the confines of the body to reach towards the divine in spirit. Instead, God reached down through the material world to touch people. Spirituality was not humanity's struggle to reach up, but God's initiative to reach down and reveal himself in a world people experienced. In the end, Jesus explained the Hebrew scriptures to his disciples with a focus on the resurrection and the mission to evangelize. According to the scriptures, the Christ had to die and to rise again. Those who repented and believed in the message of his conquest over death would receive God's forgiveness. With his appearance and his interpretation, he gave his followers the mission to spread the good news. They were his witnesses to the events of his passion and his glory. When the disciples experienced the risen Lord, they saw and heard the fullness of God's revelation. Before them stood the reality of God and man together in the person of Jesus. Through his lips, they heard an interpretation of the law and the prophets that pointed to him as the Messiah. What they saw and heard compelled them to go out and preach the good news. Today we find their witness in the church and through God's people, the gift of God's very life. Thank you.